Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for joining me again. Well, it is that time again, and it is time for another Essentials by Ellen release. This is the December 2018 release from the Essentials by Ellen line, and there are so many fun new products, and you can check out a bunch of different projects over at my blog. But today in this video, I wanted to concentrate on some tips and tricks for using the new Letterboard die collection. Now this is the basic letter board set here and you get the backer, which would be your felt piece on a letter board. You get the frame and a small alphabet with some emojis and punctuations as well. There's like little hearts in there and some face emojis, which I think is a fun little addition to this basic alphabet set. Now there's also a larger alphabet set that you can use in conjunction with this letter board set or keep in mind that you can use these alphabet sets on their own as well. But I think it's kind of fun to mix the smaller and larger alphabets together on the same letter board project. And then there's also some script words that you can kind of combine into this to really add some accentuation to certain words like hustle, celebrate, yay, hello, favorite. There's a bunch of these and I'm gonna be using some of those today as well. Now I will say that normally when I'm doing die cutting and I'm using a sheet adhesive, I like to use stick it adhesive because it die cuts really well. But in this instance, I really don't wanna cut through both the cardstock and the backer of my sheet adhesive. So for today's project, I'm gonna be using the Be Creative sheet adhesive. It has a little bit thicker backer paper. And when I combine this with the Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock and I die cut this, it's gonna die cut through the paper and through the adhesive, but not through the backer. And you're gonna see where this is gonna be beneficial to me. Now I am doing this just to kind of show you, I've done a bunch of these in advance, but basically I'm taking this Be Creative tape, putting it on the back of my Nina Heavyweight cardstock. Then I'm gonna take the alphabet and I'm gonna hold that in place onto this cardstock with the adhesive on the back side. And then I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine. Now I wanted to show you that this works not only with the alphabet itself, but you can use this with the script dies as well. I'm using my regular die cutting sandwich, so I'm not using any shims for this because like I said, I wanna cut through the paper, but not the backer of the adhesive. So before I ran this through, I put a couple of those script words on there as well. Then I ran it through my Gemini Junior. You can run it through whatever die cutting machine you have. And you can see my backer is still intact. And that's really important because I want stickers, not a bunch of loose letters that I'm chasing around. I wanna be able to pull these off and use them as I need them and not kinda of have to store a bunch of loose little letters. Now you can see when I remove the die, most of these die cuts are sticking in that cardstock negative portion. I have a couple that didn't, so I'm just gonna take my little pokey tool here poke them back into there, and I'm gonna store them in the negative space on this adhesive backer. That will allow me to pull off whatever letters I wanna use when I'm ready to use them and place them on my project. So you can see here, I've done full sheets of this. I had to run it through my regular size Gemini to do these full sheets, but you could also do half sheets of this as well. And I have mixes of both the smaller alphabet and the larger alphabet, as well as the script words, all on one sheet of Nina Solar White cardstock. And they're all stuck in that negative space with the backer on the back. Then when I'm ready to use them, I can just take my little pokey tool, pop out the letter I want to use, and I have a sticker with adhesive on it that's ready to go. Now, had I used stick it adhesive on the back of this, those dies would have cut right through the backer of the stick it adhesive, and I would have had a bunch of loose letters with backers that I would have had to peel off individually. So that's why I chose the Be Creative sheet adhesive. You could also do this with the larger rolls of adhesive of the Be Creative tape as well. But that's why I chose this particular adhesive. Now this is also nice because I can also leave these in the negative space and add color to them with Copic markers or other types of coloring mediums. And it's much easier to do that with these full sheets of letters and that sort of thing than it is to do with individual letters. And you'll notice that I cut a bunch of the scripty words with these as well. 
So now that I have a bunch of letters ready to go, I'm going to cut the backers. This is like the felt part on a letter board, which by the way, letter boards are all the rage. Just do a little search on Pinterest. You're going to find so much inspiration for letter boards. And I love this because you can really customize it to be whatever kind of card that you want. And it's really nice, clean and simple look. Now, when I cut this backer piece, I cut it out of black cardstock here, I am using a shim because I want those score lines to really press into the cardstock. I'm also using a shim when I cut the frame because it also has a kind of inlaid score line in it as well. And I really want those score lines to be visible on the final die cuts. So what I've done here is I've cut the felt backers with all the little lines. I've cut a bunch of the frames out of some white cardstock. And now I'm cutting the frame out of some adhesive backed birch paper. So this is a real wood paper. And I'm making several of these at once. So I am just preparing myself by just doing a bunch of die cutting all at once. I'm going to sort these out and then I'm going to start assembling the frames. Now I cut so many white frames because I want to add a little bit of dimension to these frames. So I'm using my Lawn Fawn glue tube here and I am going to stack up three of these white frames on top of each other and then finish the stack with one of the real wood birch frames that I've die cut there. You can see them at the upper right hand corner of my screen right now. So I'm just placing this liquid glue. I kind of like a liquid glue for a application like this because I can really put it on and kind of slide it around if I need to to get these all right in the exact spot that they need to be. And you can see I'm just using my fingers to kind of press the edges together and make sure everything's lined up. Then I can remove the adhesive backer from this birch paper and line it up over the stacked white die cuts and put that in place. And that gives me a dimensional wood frame, which is very reminiscent of all of the letter boards that you'll kind of see out there. Now to kind of make this stable, I didn't know if I really wanted these all on card bases. So I've just cut a piece of white cardstock to be my holder backer for all of this. And I'm just going to assemble these letter boards and then I can place them on cards or use them as tags or whatever I want later on. So I'm just cutting a piece of Nina Solar White heavyweight cardstock. I'm placing my frame over the top of it. And then I am going to use some regular tape runner adhesive to kind of inlay this felt portion. It's not really made out of felt. It's made out of cardstock. But <laughs> if this was a real letter board, this would be the felt portion. So to get those corners really pressed into there, I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of run it around the edges, make sure everything's adhered really well. And then I have the base for my letter board and I can start picking out the letters that I want to use from these large sheets of letters and placing them onto my letter board. Now I like to use a combination of my little pokey tool here, which is actually called a craft pick. But if you've been around the crafting world for any length of time, you probably also just call it a little pokey tool. <laughs> so I like to use that in conjunction with my little tweezers to place these letters in place. Now I am just using the lines that are pressed into this cardstock from that die to line up all of these letters. And I really should have used a darker cardstock to kind of demonstrate this here, but I didn't film the assembly of all of this because at this point it's really just popping out the letters and the words that I want to use and placing them on to this base here. I am not pressing these letters all the way down. I'm kind of allowing the bottom portion of these letters to be adhered. And that way, if I need to kind of rearrange or realign something, I can do that very easily. So I kind of push them around with my pokey tool. Once I get everything in place, then I'm going to take the flat end of my bone folder and I'm going to press these down permanently. These will be down and good to go once I kind of press them into place. And you can see on this one, this says you are the Obi-Wan for me. <laughs> I thought that was a really fun kind of love message for my husband for Valentine's Day. I'm going to put this away for Valentine's Day. And I did use a mix of both the larger and smaller alphabet on this particular one, as well as the little heart emoji too.
Now I made several of these, mixing the smaller and the larger alphabet, as well as those little add-on scripty words. You can see the dream is free, the hustle is sold separately. I love that saying. I put that one on a card base. Here is the, you are the Obi-Wan for me. <laughs> if you have a Star Wars fan in your life, that's perfect. I have this one, which is more of a Christmas or holiday version, and I've taken those letters and shaped them like a Christmas tree. And finally, we have celebrate every day like it's Taco Tuesday. I mean, because Taco Tuesday is the best, right? <laughs> And if you're lacking in inspiration at all for these letterboard quotes, Pinterest has a ton of ideas. Or Instagram, if you use the hashtag letterboard, you can find tons of quotes for that as well. So there you have it, some tips and tricks for working with this new letterboard die collection from The Essentials by Ellen Line. I think it is so much fun. And here's a little peek at all of the products that were released in The Essentials by Ellen Line this month, as well as all of the projects that I made with the various products. And if you want to see still shots of all of these projects, I will have them over at my blog, and you can find that linked below. As always, I will have links to the featured products in the description at YouTube, but head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed these projects and these tips and tricks. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. Thanks for stopping by and spending time with me today. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.